topic you said immigration. So, okay. what, 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 Alan, what is your views on immigration? Uh, you don't have a country without borders. You have to have borders. You have to have a common culture of some kind. And, you know, it doesn't mean that it's being done right right now, but nobody's really trying to fix it. Politicians on both sides. It's just. Democrats and Republicans and independents all want the same thing to get reelected. Right. <laughs> that's that's that's, that's, that, that's one thing they got in common. They, just want to, they, they don't they don't care. And they want money to get reelected. Yes, yes. I mean, because is the big problem. I, I, I ran for state house representatives. I'm not sure if you knew. No. Uh, in uh, in the dis, NC like district eighty three. Oh, he's if you name it, I've done it. I mean, <laughs> I've run for state house representatives, but I the lady I ran against spent. Oh, I mean, I guess like sixty seventy thousand dollars for for an election. I had all, I had a thousand dollars for my mama. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and it was just like, I got like 38, 49, well, I got a high percentage of the vote for, I mean, I got all the Democrat votes and some Republican votes. Okay. And, but the district I was in was extremely Republican, so it really didn't matter, you know what I'm saying? But why would you spend so much money to get a seat that only pays $12,000 a year? Right. Because unless somebody's paying you something on the back end to, to be there to make laws, because, because like this, and, and, and the jacked the part about it, after I lost that election, the people from the Republican Party came to me and said, "Hey, if you want to run for office on the Republican ticket, we can we can find a spot for you to run yes, in and get elected." Yes, that's what I was saying. Listen, if black they, Republican is money, it's I, money. I know. I, I, they, I, love, they love. Yes, yes, see, yes. yes. I, I tell people yeah. all the time, like, if, yo, that's that's the. I mean, I, you remember my Herman Cain pictures, right? Yeah. Hey, man, Herman Cain was the bomb, bro. Yeah. Where it's at. I got to hang out with him backstage at UNCC. That's where it's at. Herman Cain was like like being Carson like times eight. You know what I'm saying? Because he was just like, I would, I would, I, I could rock with Herman Cain. But the irony, he got tripped up on what on like some women. Yeah, women. It was, it was like making pieces, women's women's ties, something like that. See, white privilege. <laughs> what? Mm. Mm. Herman Cain. Yeah. Herman Cain touches him. You out of here. And all, well, all it mm. takes is an accusation from somebody saying that happened twenty years ago. Yeah, that's all. Oh, that, that, that is so. I mean, it, like, in no way am I saying that men should you know take advantage of women or vice versa because I've been in plenty of situations where women take advantage of me. Right. That's what Obviously. I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But but, but, but like real talk, it, it, it's just <laughs> it, it's just like statues and limitations for for accusations. You know what I'm saying? Like how long ago that happened? Ten years ago. Okay, I'm not listening to you anymore. Because yeah. because like, like I, I'm not saying that's right or wrong, but it's just like if I ran president one day, I'm pretty sure because like my only fear, in like real talk, is to get so famous. Then then when I was you know young and just hooking up with random chicks, right. random places. Jerome hooked up with me. I'm not gonna deny it, but it, but it happened. But now you coming to me and messing with my, my but, stuff. But they they won't just say that. Say Jerome touched me and I didn't like it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, like he, he was he working at UPS and he was really sweaty and his sweat got <laughs> in my face and it tastes like salt. My sodium level went up and I got high cholesterol now. It's just, it's just I mean, it's like we're, yeah, we're, yeah I, I think all movements sometimes can can start good and end up in a different place. Uh, you know. Cause that's my biggest fear. Because I, I, I have a daughter. You, you have, you have a daughter. We all, I, I got we, two. We, we all I have daughters. Two. And if somebody touches touches her, and, oh, I'm shooting my foot and, off. And, and I, I want, I, hey, I don't even like guns, but I shoot my foot off. Hey, you know, it, it's, it's a problem. <laughs> but you know, but at the same time, some some things seem kind of like wait a minute, like thirty years and you know, little, like, yeah, I'm just I'm just like, like you, you, should, you might have to just walk that off. Thirty years is, is was a little while ago. Hey, you didn't care until a week before the election. Yeah, some, some 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 things are uh, what they are, but uh, you know, but some but I mean, some, some, some things, things are real. Some things are real. Because yeah. I, I will be on. I will be honest though. As a guy, I do remember, you know, I'm going like to to, to bike week, and and, mm-hmm. and going to some of these things when I was younger, and and it was it's like you go around and you just grab a girl, you know, you grab a girl and by the butt, you don't know anything because she. Yeah. And, and, and it was like it was just the culture was like, hey, that's what we're gonna we're gonna go do. We're gonna and and so and a lot of times the girls wouldn't like it. They'll they'll like swing at you or they'll say, hey, get away from it. But it, it was, but that wasn't right. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, thinking it's, back see, now, me, I, I was a nerd guy. You know what I'm saying? Because like, because like for me, like I'll be scared to do that. So, like I, I, I was I was I was a dude was like like go grab butt. I was like 
I don't know her name. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, like, can I ask her name first? And can we, like, can I get to know her and ask her, is it okay to grab her butt? If it's okay to grab her butt, it was okay if I grab it while her friends are watching, make sure I'm not grabbing too tight because I don't want her to feel this. That, 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 that was me. That was me. That's being respectful. No. Yeah, uh, uh, Jerome, Jerome, well, we, don't, we don't have to allow him. No, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm, be, I'm, I'm, be, I'm being for real. I'm being for real. Uh, I'm, Tanya will be, she'll, she'll forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being for real. I mean, because even now, Baby, it's okay if I hug you. And I'm like, you know, across the room, can I hug, hug you? No. Okay, so I sit there and just doodle. Yeah. yeah I, but, you know, we grew up in, I, I remember when I was a kid, like, you go to a dance. I remember I was, I was, I, was, uh, I think I was in seventh grade, maybe eighth grade. Nobody knows how old Tyrone is. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> he's about like, like this, this old, is 1930s. Older, older than that. <laughs> but, but, yeah, but I, I remember I went and I, and I, and I, like, asked a girl to dance and everybody laughed at me. Like ah, oh, you asked her. You just grab her and dance. And if she doesn't want to dance, she just she'll like say you're ugly and, and we just she will yeah, dance yeah. with you. And they'll, they'll they'll like the the girls would say they'll like you. Don't, I remember I was telling my cousins they're like you asked like you don't that's that's corny. You, you don't you don't ask. You just you just grab her and dance. And now fast forward now people are getting mad about you know. That that cult, that culture is has yeah, been yeah. around for a while. I, you I know? was a shy, fat ginger kid in the seventh grade, so I wasn't dancing with anybody. I had no rhythm, so. I mean, I, I wasn't. It took me a while to come into my own, but it took me very and, long. And, and I, from that incident, <clears throat> I kind of withdrew back too a little bit. I was like, oh, because it was I get, it was embarrassing. It's like, I was because like, I was you know it wasn't until I got older where I was like grabbing people. So. Come here, get over here. <laughs> but, it was, but, it's, but that's what people were saying. Oh, no, like, you're was, right. You're right. It was like the, the culture. I mean, the culture does that, you know. But uh, you know, and and the, our music culture always was, you know, what we were listening to, like, you know, back that ass up. You a yeah. farmer? Yeah. Want your back that ass back up? That, it, 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 it wasn't like it wasn't wasn't like it wasn't like, ma'am, could you please come here and. <laughs> and it was like, nah, back that ass. No, 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 that's what was did for me, because, like, I, what's the first CD? Because well, I'm pretty sure you got the CD, the, the, the CDs in the mail thing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not CD, I got, well, I'm a little old man. Tapes, I, yeah, yeah, cassettes, it was like a start. Yeah, you don't that much older. It, it, it was cassettes. It was, I mean, look, I remember. And then it went to CDs. Yeah, I got my first CD player seventh grade so. what, what, what was your first cd that you got from a columbia house or cassette from columbia house uh the first one that i got was uh nauseomatic okay so so i understand that what's the first one you got the classic album by the way i didn't do the columbia house i was pretty obsessed at an early age i mean metallica black album was the first like real album i feel like i bought that has anything to do with me now because I was into like new kids on the block and dumb shit like that as a little oh, kid. Oh, you was you were a new kids guy. Okay. Like okay. The, 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 <laughs> they, but there's no new, new kids. They they were catchy, man. They were, I mean, it was it's like no shame and like for, for me, for example, like I mean, I think the first songs you listen to kind of shape who your personality is right. in the future. Because I remember, like, I got six of these. I mean, one of them with Key Sweat. Okay. So like I wanted the chicks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Tony Rich Project. You know what I'm saying? Like those, okay. those songs I would listen to, so like, so when I would listen to songs and stuff, I would approach girls like, nobody, baby. <laughs> so so, so I, 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 was, I was just saying stuff yeah, like, back that ass up on me. So I was, uh, I, I was different because I, I was a hip hop head. Nah, I mean, cause, and, I, and I still kind of am, still kind of am, but uh, not this new stuff. But I like the uh, like last year. I never but, but, but like, out of Compton when I was in the fourth grade. Yeah, yeah, so like like I grew up on not that I ever said it. Like one of my <laughs> one of my favorite one of my favorite artists coming up was uh Ice Cube when he had uh like Fred America's Milk One and Death Sit Dope. The like the first three were like really good. NWA, like all that. So I so I, I grew up on, on, on that and it was like no, I mean, because you know, like my parents my parents are older, right? Because like right now I'm thirty six, my mom is seventy. My dad's like seventy two, right? So growing up, like they didn't listen to it. So right. so like in the house, like in like every time the like a hip hop or something would come on, I'm like, cut that crap off, that's crap off. So like I used to write the lyrics to boys and men, you know what I'm saying? Because I was like, okay, mama, let me play. So you know what I'm saying? So so that, that's what that. So trying to be a good kid, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm four out of five, you know what I'm saying? Because they could have easily got rid of me. So like I try to be a good kid. So like. I used to try to be on the right side of everything. So if, if they didn't like it, I didn't like it. So I, I would like listen to like Wilson Pickett, uh, yeah. Al Green. You know, that, that's kind of music that I listened to with my dad. And my mom was straight gospel music. So it was kind of like, yeah. yeah. 
so going to school, like when I first, first like Columbia House, you know, they changed my life with the whole, you know, CDs, and I was like, yeah, yeah, or uh, Joe, all the things man won't do. You know what I'm saying? So that, 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 how was that? I was that simp motherfucker that was trying to like impress girls by being so, so super uber nice that you know. I grew up on bitches ain't shit. <laughs> I was in trades. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, and, and so and, and and so it was very aggressive. But I was a nice kid. Like 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 my, my family is super religious, and like you know my dad dad was a deacon. My mom was like. You know, she was like a what they call it, missionary, and you know, and Church of God of Christ and all that stuff. So they were very religious. So, so I would actually have to hide my music because my dad would like he would like he took. I never forget. I was so pissed. I was so pissed. He took my Nas tape, the Illmatic, the, the classic Nas first album. He took it. And he was like, he's like, this is crap. He's like, you're feeding your mind crap. And and I was like, okay, well. What am I? He's like, nah, you're not getting this back. And I was like, no. I was like, what? I was like, what? I was like, it's what? He was like, no, you don't, you can't, don't listen. So I, I would, I would have to hide, I would hide my music. And uh, and I didn't really do Columbia House as much. I, I, I would do. If you were, you might remember Alan, you could dub yeah. other people's tape. So I'd get somebody, like somebody would buy it, and now I would. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now, now I would dub it. Like all my, it was all dub. It was like see. Cassette tapes was all dubbed, and I had like a, a tackle, like a fishing tackle box, and I would mm-hmm. dump all that and I stack them up in, in there. So that's what I would do, and and but yeah, but yeah, but the culture, you know, it was different. We kind of grew up on that. I mean, because the, the song that changed my life was uh, "Hit 'Em Up" by Tupac, the great poet Tupac, when he says, first off, fuck your bitch in the clicky plane, West Side." You know, you know what I'm saying? I, I was just like. That's very disrespectful, but it's trying to be. I like this. I'll never forget. I was washing dishes, and it came on the radio, and I was like, "What?" And I was like, "Oh crap!" And, and that, that introduced me to stuff. So, like, very shortly after that, I was like, uh, "Then shortly after that, that's when Tupac got that died." So I was like, "You know, I was West Coast forever." You know what I'm saying? I was like, "Tupac, you know, B ain't shit." You know what I'm saying? Because, because, like, that's what it, well, what I was baptized into. You know what I'm saying? So then, shortly after that, then it led to um, then I started listening to Southern rappers, which I found Outkast and Andre. Me and him had so many common being weird oh, shit. Man, yeah. So it was just like, so I was like a Southern guy. Then Pastor Troy. So I was like, so that that's that's where my rap lineage comes from because I'm like I like I like good music, right? But my my heart is always that. So that's why I like Drake so much. He's just a crybaby. I mean, but, but, but I like I like crying. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with four men to cry. <laughs> So it's it, 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 it like, yeah, so that's what I like. So yeah, yeah, I was always like, I like hard. And like, first and off, fuck your bitch and you click you. My mom raised me on the Beatles and Elvis and the oldies and okay. musicals. I love musicals still, but musicals. My dad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I remember you said something about uh, something. About, I remember laughing. There's a lot of layers. To this, this emotional man right here. Yeah. No, but. I can appreciate musicals now, though. I, oh, I, love like, I, I used to laugh like that's some I, I, I watched. Uh, what's the one? Um, gosh, I don't know. It's the it's set like in France or Europe somewhere. Oh, sound music? No, not that one. Uh, La Miserable. Les Miserable. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's pretty. I, I think, pretty I, think good. I watched that. Tim Gray. Yeah, it's I pretty good. Gray. I was, I was yeah, okay. It, it was pretty good. It was it's pretty good. I watched bad. it about two hundred times. The musical version. Yeah, I was like, yeah it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, so we talking about immigration, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, but you said a country, a country must have borders, which I I agree with.